Hello everyone and welcome to Black Star Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here with mjammusic.com and in this lesson we're going to be learning five really easy blues licks to get you started with your blues lead guitar playing. For this lesson I'm using my Shergold Masquerader plugged into the Black Star Studio 10 6L6. You're hearing the amp mic'd up with an Aston Origin condenser microphone. Lick number one is an A minor pentatonic lick that slides between the first and second shapes. Here's the lick in full and then we'll break it down. <laughs> So the lick actually comes in on the fourth beat. We're starting with a triplet, starting with a bend on the G on the seventh fret, and we're going up through the fifth on the B and E. On the one beat, we're actually sliding from the eighth fret to the tenth on the B string. And then on the fourth beat of that, but we're sliding backwards from the ninth to the seventh fret on the G, and then doing a pull off to the five and landing back on the root note, which is the seventh fret of the D string. And then we're ending with this little quarter tone bend on the fifth of the G and back once again to that seven on the G. I then repeated the lick, but this time I just ended on the quarter tone bend. This is great played over a shuffle kind of feel. So here's the lick at full speed. The second lick is a double stop lick, which is sort of based around a 50s rock and roll guitar style idea. But what I've done here is I've rocked it up a little bit to make it a bit more of a blues rock kind of lick. Here's the lick in full. So this actually starts with two groups of triplets as a double stop on the B and E strings at the fifth fret. One and a, two and a. And then on the third beat, I'm playing the seven on the B and the eight on the E. And I'm bending that seventh fret up to the pitch of the eight on the B. We get this slightly discordant thing there, but it works really well in this context. That bend then lasts for the two beats that remain in that bar. I'm doing that twice, and then on the third bar, I'm going into double time. So I'm going one and a two, three and a four. Then in the fourth bar, I'm doing the same thing on the first two beats. And then on the final two beats, I'm starting with the double stop once, but I'm doing this little rundown. In that little descending run, I'm actually hitting a note that's outside of the minor pentatonic, which is the sixth fret here on the G. This is actually a major note, but it's a really nice crossover note to put into your blues licks, because after I hit that major note, I'm actually resolving back on the root here at the seventh of the D string, so it's a really nice ending lick. So here's the lick slowly all together. The third lick we're going to do is another lick in the first shape of the minor pentatonic scale, but this time I'm bringing in the flat five. If you've learned any pentatonic scale theory, the flat five is a note known as the blues note. So here's the lick I'm going to play. This lick starts with a little triplet phrase. So on the first beat, I'm going... I pull off from the eight to the five on the B and I'm landing on the eighth fret of the G. This is that flat five note. Now in blues, you don't want to hang on the flat five too long because it actually causes a little dissonance with the root, but it's a very interesting note to pass through. On the second beat, I'm doing this little speedy flurry. I'm sliding the flat five down to the seventh fret, then I'm pulling that off to the five and hitting that root note. On the third beat, I'm playing a little quarter tone bend on the fifth of the G and landing back on the seven of the D. And then just after the fourth beat, I'm sliding from the 8 to the 10 on the B string. Fourth lick is a little Eric Clapton inspired lick in the second shape of the minor pentatonic. Here's the lick in full. So this lick is all triplets once again. The triplet pattern is very simple. It's a hammer on from the 8 to the 10 of the B string and I'm rolling onto the 8 of the E. I'm doing three of those. 
You can even keep your finger barred across the notes like that if you wish. That might make it a little easier. On the fourth beat, I'm doing a four step bend on the 10th fret of the E. And then I'm landing on the eighth fret of the E on the one beat. Fifth and final lick is another Eric Clapton inspired lick. This is quite quick and it uses a lot of 16th notes. So this is the trickiest lick in the lesson. Here's the lick in full. So this lick has a lot of those major minor crossovers that we talked about. We're starting off with a hammer on from the five to the seven on the G, which is the minor to major note, and then we're hitting the five on the B and E. That's our first group of 16th notes. Then we're starting to descend through the minor pentatonic scale. We're doing a pull off from the eight to the five on the B. We're hitting that flat five on the G and then back to the fifth fret of the B. Then we're doing a double pull off here from the eight to the seven to the five on the G. And land on the seven of the D. You can pick all three of those notes if you're not comfortable with doing two pull offs in a row, but I prefer to do the double pull off just because I think it adds a little fluidity to the lick. For the final 16th note pattern, we're rolling to the seventh fret of the G and the seventh fret of the D on top of each other. And then we're hammering on from the five to the six on the G. You can also slide between these two. Sometimes I slide, sometimes I hammer on depending on my mood. At the start of the next bar, we're hitting that seventh fret on the D string. That's our root note again, we're hitting that straight away on the one. Then we're doing a position shift. So we're playing the seven on the G and sliding it up to the nine. We don't need to hear the seven, we just need to hear the movement. Then I'm playing the eighth fret of the B and then landing on the 10th fret of the D. Once again at full speed. So there you go guys, there are five really great blues licks to get you kickstarted with your blues lead guitar playing. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please let us know down below in the comments what you thought of these licks and if you've managed to integrate them into your own playing. We'd love to hear what you guys think. Don't forget to check out Blackstar Amplification on YouTube for more free video lessons just like this. And if you guys are looking for a guitar teacher in your local area, please head over to mgrmusic.com. It's a network of great teachers all over the UK just waiting to help you guys out. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you soon.